सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंदम भक्तबिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाछाकुवश कृपा सिंधु बवच पतिता पावन वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगुंगलंघति गिरि यत्तमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदेवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मधीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्रस्व प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवन भविष्यदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भेतात्म पुनतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारविंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटाय विस्फुरजीत कमुशुदर्श पूर्णागरस सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयि कदा कृपा कर श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनुका बुदा तो संकर्तनिक पितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबर द्विजर जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दीनीत भावान्ूपेन सदा नरण गंगा तरंगरमणीयटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायण प्रियमनंगुमदापहारम वरासीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष वदने लक्ष्मीर्जस् वक्षसी यस्ते संसिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे भक्ति योग परिभावित हित सरोज आस से 
सतेक्षित बतनुनाथ पुंसम जद जद धियात उर्गाय विभावयति तत्तद बपू प्रणय से सदनु ग्रहाय ताम भक्ति योग परिभावित तो हित सरोज आस से सुतेक्षित पतनुनुनाथ पुंसम जद जद धियात उर्गाय विभायति चतद बपू प्रणय से सदनु गृहाय गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी भगवान परमंस जगदगुरु सेट दैन नो बडी इंटरेस्टेड टू सर्व दैट एब्सुलूट ऑब्जेक्ट अधक्ष जो वस्तु बट एवरीबॉडी लाइक वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड टू सर्व माया एवरीबॉडी लाइक टू सर्व माया उदाउट एनी इनवाइटेशन गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी भोपाल परमंस जगदगुरु सेट दैन नो बडी इंटरेस्टेड टू सर्व दैट एब्सुलूट ऑब्जेक्ट अधक्ष जो वस्तु बट एवरीबॉडी वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड टू सर्व माया देवी उदाउट एनी इनवाइटेशन उदाउट एनी नोटिस एवरीबॉडी लाइक टू सर्व माया दैट इज वन फैलसी रियल इज हो वाट डू मीन बाय अधक्ष जो वस्तु वाट डू मीन बाय अधक्ष जो वस्तु श्री जीव गोस्वी पाद राइटिंग इन इज स्वांद इन इज सन्दर्भ जीव गोस्वी पाद श्री जीव गोस्वी पाद राइटिंग इन सन्दर्भ अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अधक्ष जो वस्तु अधक्ष जो वस्तु मीन अधकृत अक्षज ज्ञानम तथा इंद्रियज ज्ञानम जेनो इति अधक्षज अधकृत अक्षज ज्ञानम तथा इंद्रियज ज्ञानम जेनो इति अधक्षज अर्थात इट मीन्स बाय बाय द पावर ऑफ भगवान बाय द पावर ऑफ भगवान आवर मेटेरियल इफर्ट बाय द पावर ऑफ भगवान आई मीन माया शक्ति बाय द पावर ऑफ माया शक्ति बाय बाय पावर ऑफ माया शक्ति मीन ऑल्सो भगवान शक्ति इनडाइरेक्टली द बाय द पावर ऑफ माया शक्ति we are trying our best to reach that absolute truth by sometime not everybody we are sometime trying to reach the absolute truth we are applying our many power money power man power everything we apply but we can come out failure so bhagwan he is in such a position that if we try to reach that point to understand bhagwan then our All our effort become failure. That is called adhaksha jabastu. I mean, by the help of your, by the help of your sense organ, by the help of your mind, intellect, which is impossible to understand, that is called adhaksha jabastu. And by the help of all sense organ, what we can, what we can see in this material world. what we can feel what we can feel by the help of our sense organ mind everything that is called aksha jo vastu i mean temporary the temporal world the temporary all world belong everything what we can try to understand by the help of our sense organ that is called that is called actually material सेंस ऑर्गन मेटेरियल ऑब्जेक्ट वी लाइक टू सी बट अप्राकृत 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 वस्तु कबू प्राकृत गोचर नहीं कैन पुट इट दे सफेशन धूप यू कैन पुट दे अप्राकृत वस्तु कबू अप्राकृत वस्तु कबू प्राकृत गोचर नय अप्राकृत वस्तु अप्राकृत वस्तु वी कैन नट अंडारस्टैंड बै द हेल्प अफ आवर मेटेरियल सेंस ऑर्गन अवर ब्रेन दैट इज अ मेन प्रॉब्लम द श्लोक आई स्टार्टेड उथ हियर इट इज रिटर्न तम भक्ति योग परिभावित हित सरोज आस से तम मीन भगवान तम भक्ति योग परिभावित हित सरोज आस से 
by the help of bhakti by the power of bhakti you can be realized tvam bhakti yogun paribhavit hitsaro jo asase sutekshita patho nonanat upamsham sutekshita patho mean in the way of what is called uh, sauta pantha what is called sauta pantha by the help of sauta pantha if you can depend on sauta pantha then and only then by hearing hari katha here one very important point that sab in the form of shabda brahma in the form of shabda brahma bhagwan coming here bhagwan arrange all shastra all sadhu guru vaishnav all dhama nama all arrangement so in the form of transcendental soul vibration of prakita shabda brahma bhagwan descend here and appear in the in the tongue of guru vaishnav in the tongue of guru vaishnav then jivhar agrate chale there is bhakti mun thakur writing kirtan eh naam rupe nache anukshan it can appear in my tongue forcefully i cannot do so when hari naam can appear in my tongue i mean in the mouth of sadhu then after hearing that sutekshita patho man in proba speaking material people always depend upon their sense organ they like to see by the help of their eyes they like to see vrindavan they like to see deity by the help of ear they like to hear everything but they don't understand after hearing of prakita shabda brahma actual hearing actual hearing is only possible when you are 100% inclined brahma speaking same thing na many repeatedly i told sthane sita suti gatam tonubang manovir je prayaso ajito jito piyo sisto isiloka you cannot be conquered so brahma has taken decision to stay in front of sadguru vishnu brahma has taken decision to stay in front of sadguru vishnu and in front of sadguru vishnu he can stay because sadguru vishnu can go on speaking of prakita hari katha and after hearing material darshan mean i can look i can see but aprakita darshan mean first you will have to hear and you can take darshan here material darshan is by the help of your eyes you can see everything but aprakita darshan mean first of all you will have to hear first of all you have to hear after that you can see everything inside your heart inside your heart that is actually aprakita darshan aprakita so by the help of your eyes you cannot see that's why pobad used to say to his disciples that bhagwan adhaksha jo vastu we cannot see bhagwan by the help of these eyes rather rather we can act we can do bhakti in such a way so that bhagwan become interested to see me we cannot see if we see bhagwan then bhagwan is an object object of my enjoyment don't understand if bhagwan become an object of my darshan that's mean bhagwan is under my control follow don't follow if bhagwan become an object of my darshan then bhagwan become under my control is not good so bhagwan is self manifesting yesterday i told so e bhagwan become interested to see me or show me himself that chatur shloki bhagavatam yesterday i told na gyanam paramam guhyam yad vigyana samandita sa rahasam tadangancha gyana bhujitam me a jabanam yatha bhav yad rup guna karma kah tathaiva vigyanam astu te madano gruhat by my anugraha kripa you can know everything forcefully you cannot know so tam bhakti yog paribhavit hisaro jo asase sutekshita patanananath pungsham 
ननु मने निश्चित में बा जद जद धिया तो उरुगा जो विभाव आयोति तत्त्व द भपु प्रणेश सदनो ग्रहायो अकॉर्डिंग टू योर बाबा सपोज समोडी डूइंग भजन ऑफ सी रामचंद्र सपोज समोडी डूइंग भजन ऑफ रामचंद्र वेरी सो सियोडी आफ्टर ही गेट सिद्धी ये भगवान कमिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम सियोडी भगवान कैन कम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रामचंद्र येस और नॉट बिकॉज ही इज थिंकिंग अबाउट रामचंद्र डूइंग भजन ऑफ राम कंसेंट्रेटिंग ऑन रामचंद्र That's why Shutekshita Pato means what you are hearing. You are hearing Ram Charit Manas Ramayan. You are doing Ram, doing Ram Nam, everything. So you can take darshan of Ram Chandra. Surely not Krishna Chandra. And when you are hearing, getting mantra according to parampara, you are getting Krishna mantra. Kam gayatri, kam gi, kam bi. You are getting. Suppose in mantra parampara by. From Guru, you are getting the mantra of Kam Gayatri Kam Gij, and you are doing bhajan continuously. So when you are doing bhajan by chanting Hari Nam, you can take take, take darshan of Bhagwan Sri Krishna surely. So that's why Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj, Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj, one time came in Bindavan. Tulsi Das Ji, who compiled Ramayan, Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj. Ramayan actually originally written by Balmiki Muni, and they are speaking Balmiki Muni again coming in the form of Tulsi Das. They have some document I don't know where from. They say Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj is incarnation of Balmiki. Balmiki Muni wrote Raman, and he also wrote Raman, but but very easy way, village language, like very easy language, so that common people can. Understand Maithili language, he wrote. So, Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj one day, Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj one day came to Brindavan to do bhajan. I mean, he can do Ram bhajan, though he is interested because he knows Ram Ji and Krishna Ji same. Some day he came, and he is doing bhajan near Gopeshwar Mahadev. One place is there near Gopeshwar Mahadev. I been there. There he started doing bhajan, but he is doing his istode. He is doing bhajan of his istode, Ramchandra doing bhajan. Suddenly, after because he is Siddha Mahatma, to Siddha Ji Maharaj is not ordinary devotee. He is Siddha Mahatma. Ramchandra came in Chittagut Parvat, Chittagut Parvat, MP. They had Chittagur Parvat, where Ramchandra, Sita, Lakshman, during their exile, done so many lila. They had Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj doing bhajan, baking garland, giving to Ramji, Chandan, everything. Some day he is crying. He is doing kirtan, a Ramchandra and a Chandan. He was making Chandan because it was Abir Bab Titi or Ramchandra. And he don't know Ramchandra already standing, coming and standing in front of him. Him, he cannot see tears rolling down. He is rolling. That Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj is not ordinary devotee. He is Shiddha Mahatma. So Tulsi Das Ji Maharaj doing bhajan in uh, in Bindavan, and suddenly Krishna appear in front of him. Bhagwan Sri Krishna appear in front of him. After that, when Tulsi Das Ji can, Tulsi Das Ji could see, immediately pay prostrate downwards and shedding tears and speaking, Prabhu, you and my Ishtadev all same. I know, you are Krishna, you are Ram. But still, if you can give me darshan in the form of my Ishtadev, my Ishtadev is Ram. So if you could give me darshan in the form of my Ishtadev, Ram Chandra. Then Bhagwan Sri Krishna disappear in the form of Ramchandra appear. So, if you are doing some certain mantra, what you what you have received from your Guru Dev, ultimately you are going to see that mantra devota. You are doing mantra, na? So you are doing bhajan of the, that mantra. You are chanting, chanting. So ultimately, what you can see. You can see mantra devota. 
what mantra you are chanting, you can meet with that mantra devota. I mean that mantra which is going to indicate that devota. Krishna mantra, you can see Krishna. Ram mantra, you can see. That's why it is written this way. So, according to, according to your bhava, according to your different, different bhava, you can take darshan. Even in rasatattva also, if you have some certain special rasatattva inside your heart, according to, that, according to that, you can see. You can see Krishna, like our Gopu Kumar, can take darshan of Krishna as Shakha, friend. Gopu Kumar can see Krishna, ultimately we are coming, ultimately can go to Vindavan, finally we are touching the final part. I mean first, second, now third part. Can take darshan of that Krishna Chato, Madan Gopal. So this way, actually, according to your uh, rasa, what rasa you favor, what kind of mood there, according to that, you can take darshan, not that uh, anything you can see. So, we are discussing yesterday, yesterday we told, Bhagavan speaking, many body, bahavo mat pradam padam praptahat trashto kaya dhavadayoho vrisha parva bolirvano mayas chato vivishanaha sugrivo hanuman nikhyo gajo griddho baniko pataha vyadaha kubja braje gopo yogya patna stathah pare te nadhita sutiganaha no pasita mahatamaha abrata tapta tapasho sat sangyat mam upagataha Bhagavan speaking many body they were successful to reach my lotus feet. Matva, Trashto Mane, Trashto actually who? Vittasu. Trashto means Trashtanan, like, like Kunti. The son of Kunti is Konteo. Son of Kunti, son of Kunti is Konteo. Like Trashto means Trashtanandan, his name is Vittasu, who came out from the fireplace. Trashtanandar who came out from fireplace, that Trashta, Trashtanandan, I mean uh, Vrittasur, Kayadhabaha mean Kayadhunandan, Kayadhabaha mean Kayadhunandan, who? Prahlad Maharaj, Kayadhabada Yuhu, many all a series is going to. Vrisho Parva, I mean the son of. Son of Pallad Maharaj is Vishwaparva. Bali, Bali Maharaj is a grandson of Pallad Maharaj. And Ban is a grand grandson of Pallad Maharaj. Mayo is one kind of demon. Mayo Dhano. Bibishano, who is Rakshas. Bibishan is a, Ravan is Rakshas. There is a, some, some is demon, they have some race, demonic race, they are rakshas. So, Bibishan is actually rakshas. Ravan, Ravan is brother, Ravan. And Sugriv, Hanuman, they are beast actually. Though I am not going to insult them, they, they themselves, it is in the, in the cool of beast, they took birth, Sugriv. Monkey. Sugribo Hanuman Rikyo Nikyo mean that Jambuban, who is the incarnation of Brahma, Gajo, Gajendro, uh, Griddho, I told already uh, that uh, uh, what is called Jatayu. I told now yesterday about Ramchandra took but you know. Gajo, Griddho, Bonik, one businessman, Bonik. He also get, got bad, very cruel bad. He also got Kubja. Kubja, you know, the name of Kubja. In Mathura, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Balaram for the first time when went by the invitation of Kongso, that time they wanted to wear nice clothes and go to the assembly. 
where the function going on. Before that, they wanted to get some chand and everything. And Kubja is a paid, paid, paid lady. She is always going to make chand and everything. Uh, how to apply to king? And he was a servant of maid servant of Kubja uh, of Kansa. So finally, when Bhagwan Sri Krishna and Balaram when travelling around Mathura Dham, for the first time they are watching Mathura Dham all around. That time they are watching, they are watching that Kubja coming. Then they are requesting, can, can you apply Chandan to us? Then Kubja is sure, then he is going to apply Chandan. From then onward, Kubja, Kubja, Enjoyed the kipa of Bhagavan. When Kubja, he was Kubja. There is some hump bed. Finally, when Krishna speaking, Oh, beautiful lady, then Kubja started crying. I am very dirty. You are going to be joking with me. Krishna speaking, I am not joking with you. Really, I mean it. Because your heart is very sweet. I am not speaking about your external appearance. After that, Krishna wanted to make him straight. Kubja, he was bent. Krishna make him straight, make him beautiful. After that, she wanted to get the association of Krishna. There are so many things. So, she got the association of Krishna somehow. So, Kubja also successful. Sugriva, Hanuman, they meet with Lakshman in, because Lakshman was searching for any clue about where Sita Devi gone in course of his searching, uh, they are Sugri, Hanuman, they meet with them. Mayo, Mayo is one technician. Mayo is actually engineer. Moy Danov is demon. He is an engineer. He is actually our Vishwakarma. You heard the name of Vishwakarma. Vishwakarma is the engineer of heaven. Vishwakarma can erect anything, anything, technical thing, Vishwakarma can do. And more than Vishwakarma, you see, Vishwakarma is a demigod and is Moedano. Moedano is having more technology, fine technology. So he was invited to make Indra Prastha. Perhaps you can remember, kingdom of Pancha Pandava, I mean uh, Kuru, Kuru Pandava. Finally, original word was Hastinapur. Hastinapur was the original place where the Rajdhani kingdom was there. After getting complete sovereignty Bhagavan, by the desire of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Yudhishthir Maharaj inviting Maidano. Yudhishthir Maharaj inviting Maidano. Maidano coming and for them, Maidano making one very nice palace. Beautiful palace. So fine technology you cannot understand. So nice technology. Be different kind of, you know, when you can enter into the palace, you can find there is pond, water pond, but there is no pond. That this way, Durjodhan actually was in confusion. When the Durjana was invited to enter there, first of all. Then Durjodhana coming, Durjodhana watching there is a water tank. He is going to get the water cloak. And there is no water tank. After the second time when he is watching, there is one water tank. So maybe it is same like that previous <laughs> fallacy. It is actually light, like you know, in desert. Like in desert, you see, some fallacy. It seems there is water. But there is no water. People running, thirsty. I can get some water. They are running, running. After that, they find the other. water source is more, little bit more distance. This way. Actually, no water. It is actually Teja Tattva. Due to hot in an adjacent, you know, air, adjacent to sand, hot sand, hot sand going up and cold sand. Cold water, meaning water 
adjacent to sand, going up, become light, hot, and coming. This way, it's same water is there. So it is one kind of teja tattva. So Duryodhan watching, maybe it is like same, no water is going to, he is going to go normally. And boom, fall down inside water. When fall down inside water, all Mataji is there, eh? they are laughing. The Duryodhan feeling insulted. Very much insulted. He was so insulted. All Mataji, ha ha, laughing. Then Duryodhan feeling insulted. After that, he was very angry. Follow this way. So, Maidano, he was successful to get the lotus feet of Bhagavan. How? By the association of Panchapanda. During construction, construction period, during construction period, he is going to get the association of Panchapanda. Or do this way, little bit you can change it, this way speaking. Got the association of Panchapanda. And our Prahlad Maharaj got the association of Naraji Maharaj. When he was inside the womb of mother, Naraji Maharaj went on speaking Harikatha and from, from inside womb, he started hearing. Kayadu speaking, Prahlad Maharaj speaking, Bhagavad Tattva. This way, by the association of Naraji Maharaj, this way, Bishop Arba, after taking bath, he was thrown by mother in the forest. Bishop Arba. After taking birth, he was thrown in, in forest by mother. So Rishi Mani, all Rishi Mani, they collected that baby. Same thing, Sakuntala. You heard the name of Sakuntala? Never heard. You heard the name of Sakuntala. Sakuntala also. Sakuntala was thrown. In the forest. After that, one Rishi took care of her. This is Sakuntala, Gruna. So, Bishop Arba, he was thrown inside forest. He was thrown in forest. So, Rishi Muni, out of their causeless mercy, pick up that boy, take care of that boy, and that boy getting kripa by Rishi Muni, learning everything. This way, Bishop Arba got the association. Bishop Arba. After that, Bali Maharaj, Bali Maharaj got the association of his grandfather, Prahlad Maharaj. His father, you know, Prahlad Maharaj, his father was Hiran Nagasibu. So, Prahlad Maharaj is surely not going to get the association of his father. He is not going to get he is going to get the association of Naraji, he is my master. But because from them, because from Prahlad Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj got his Dibba Gyan from Naraji Maharaj, his Guru. So Bishwabharva all developed this kind of spirituality, uh, you know, sophisticated heart by the uh, association of their Rishi Munis. Bali Maharaj, Got the association of Pallad Maharaj. Bali Maharaj always used to follow his grandfather, Pallad Maharaj. Ban, Ban is very dangerous. Ban is so dangerous, Banaraj. His kingdom was Prag Jatispur, which is at present known as Gauhati. You know? Gauhati, Assam Gauhati. That was his palace, I mean, rather than capital, there. So, he was very false ego, very false ego inside him. One day, he is speaking to Sankar. Sankar was his worshipable object. He always used to worship, Ravan also. Ravan also used to worship Sankar. And uh, Bali Maharaj also used to worship Sankar. Bali Maharaj is uh, Bali Maharaj, you know, Ma actually Ban Raj, Ban Maharaj. Ban Raj, he used to worship Shankar Bhagavan all the time. One day he is speaking to Shankar Bhagavan. I have so much power in my hand. I feel some, you know, some irritation. I like to fight with somebody. But I find nobody matching with me. I find nobody matching with me. 
So better uh, I find you are actually matching. He is speaking to his Ishtodev. I think you are the only man with whom I can fight. Then Sankar Bhagavan became very angry. Oh, idiot, you like to fight with me. I am your Ishtodev. Okay, I can give you. You can get the test of fighting. You can get the actual test of your fighting mood. You can get the actual test of your fighting mood, you can see. Follow. Actually, when Bhagavan Sri Krishna, their long history, I cannot speak, due to some reason. Because Ban, his daughter was Usha. Name of daughter of uh, Bansur of Usha. Somehow, she wanted to get the association of Mani Mary, the stay, a grandson of Krishna. That, summer, that time, finally it was, he was discovered inside the room, inside the room of that uh, no, uh, daughter. Ban Maharaj was very astonished. There is high security. There is high security all around. How that man coming inside? Actually, by yogic power, he was brought from Daruka. Daruka, he was the grandson of Krishna. He was sleeping. From there, Anirudh. Ah, finally he was taken there. Finally, yogic power. One friend of Usha, see knowing this comes yogic power. When Usha crying, then by the help of, you know, friend, she wanted to get that young man from their Dharuka there. Yogic power. Finally, big fighting took place. It was the question of prestige. Ban Maharaj feeling prestigious is how possible my daughter without any marriage going to get the association of so it's a big problem getting showed out and fighting. Finally, this uh, problem spread out from Daroka. Krishna was bound to come to save him. Big fighting. And Sankar Bhagavan took the uh, took the side of Ban Maharaj. Banraj, because he was a disciple, I mean, Bhakta. Finally, big fighting took place. Then, what, what our Sankar Bhagavan told, someday you can get the test of your fighting mood. Now, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, by the help of will, by the help of will, one by, Banraj had very thousand hand, big hand. One by one, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, by the help of will, going to cut all hands, all heart. Then Sankar Bhagavan finally coming and requesting to Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Prayer. Then Ban Maharaj, ba, then Ban Raj could realize, oh, my Ishwadev going to, uh, you know, glorify Krishna. It's great. By the association of Sankar Bhagavan, he could realize that Krishna Bhagavan is Supreme Lord. This way, finally all hand gone, only four hand. When Sankar Bhagavan requesting Prabhu, Prabhu, he is enjoying my kipa. If you give punishment, you kill him, then it's very uh, insulting for Jerugatri. Bhagavan Sikh is speaking, no, I cannot kill. It is my standing commitment. It is my standing commitment that in the race of Prahlad Maharaj, in the destiny of Prahlad Maharaj, the race I cannot kill anybody. So I cut all hand so that uh, his false ego can come down. I only cut hand everything. I keep only four hand so that he can cut his false ego. This way, Ban. Maharaj Ban, he got bhakti, I mean, onto a lotus feet of Krishna, he was successful to reach. Maidano, already I told, Bibishan, by the association of, you know, uh, uh, Lakshman and Sugriv, Hanum, Hanuman, Sugriv, by the association. Gajaraj got the association of, got the association of whom? Dasarajji Maharaj. Gajaraj, I mean, 
Gajaraj, na, sorry, uh, Gridho, Gridho Raj. It's almost same pronunciation. Grid, Gridho Raj means Jatayu. Jatayu was successful to grow bhakti and to lotus feet of Bhagavan by the association of, by the association of Dasarajji Maharaj. So, and Dasarajji Maharaj is a great devotee, acting as father, but a great devotee. For a long time, even before Ramchandra took birth, even before Ramchandra took birth, for a long time, Dasarajji Maharaj used to worship Ramchandra. Dasarajji Maharaj used to worship Ramchandra. And that Ramchandra deity, still you can find in Udupi and Madhacharya Pit. That Ramchandra, thousands of years, you cannot count, is, you know, it was this, that deity uh, was worshipped by our Dasarajji Maharaj, even before Ramchandra take part. That deity is there in Urupi, Madhacharya Pit. Because Madhacharya worshipping both, both Ramchandra and Krishna. It is one kind of fallacy. Somebody can say, what kind of Siddhanta it is? Somebody can say, na, if you go to his, uh, his pit, Urupi, you can find Ramchandra there and uh, Gopal. Gopal you can find there. Gopal, North of Gopal. Both you can find. Because Madhacharya is at the same time Bhimsen, Bayu Avatar, Madhacharya in the form of Madhacharya is the, is the incarnation of Bayu Dev, Madhacharya. So, when he came in the form of uh, Bhimsen, uh, he got the association of, Ram Chand, uh, of uh, Krishna Chandra. When he was this, uh, came in the form of Hanu, Hanumanji Maharaj, Madhacharya actually incarnation of Hanuman, incarnation of Bhimsen. Both, you can say, Bhayudevata. Like our Murari Gupta. Murari Gupta, he is getting the association of Mahaprabhu all the time. He used to see Mahaprabhu running around, playing. But still, he has his attraction for Ramchandra. Because life after life, he is serving Ramchandra. He is actually Hanuman, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu himself told. Mahapu wanted to, Mahapu wanted to test his, Mahapu wanted to test his attraction, Mane nishtha. Mahapu wanted to test his nishtha. Mahapu wanted to take his nishtha in Ishtadev. So someday Mahapu suggesting, someday Mahapu suggesting to Murari Gupta, why not you do the bhajan of Krishna Chanda, we are more tasteful. Because Krishna Chandra having more rasa, rasa excellency. Krishna Chandra having more rasa excellency, Ram Chandra not so. So why not you? Okay, you are speaking. Okay, you are speaking, then I can try. Then Murari Gupta trying his best, but could not, could not take out his mind from the lotus feet of Ram Chandra. Finally, he took decision to, to kill himself. He make one knife, very sharp knife, katani, very sharp, and is keeping in the room. So I cannot carry out the order of Mahaprabhu. So better I can leave my body. Then Bhagavan Gauranga Chandra coming to his house. After that, how Murari, how you feel? I'm okay. Okay, you do one thing. You give me the cutter, which you what cutter? You give me the cutter. What cutter? What do you mean? I cannot understand. Do you like to test me? You are making one cutter by blacksmith. I know the reason for why. Give me. Where is black? What do you mean? I cannot understand. I know from where you make it. I know where you are keeping it. Go and take it out. Then finally, Murari Uttu was bound to bring the carter in front of Mahaprabhu and started crying heavily. He started speaking, Prabhu, you are giving me order, I mean advising me to do bhajan of Krishna Chanda, but I am unable to 
take out my mind from the lotus feet of Krishna Chan. Hey, you are from Ram Chan. So finally you took Ra Mahaprabhu laughing. Actually, I wanted to test you. Actually, I wanted to test you your tremendous nishtha. Why you can why you can leave Ramchanda? You are actually Hunuman. Mahaprabhu told Hunuman. Mahaprabhu told you are actually original Hunuman. So Hunuman, you are the eternal servant of Ramchanda. I wanted to test you. So this way, this way, Madhacharya Pit, you can find that deity which was worshipped by Dasaraji Maharaj. At the same time, not Nitya Gopal. You can find Gopal, both. It is actually, uh, externally it is contradictory. Because one rasa you are getting, another rasa not possible. But it is a special case. Like, Mahap, like Murari Gupta having tremendous love for Mahaprabhu. Tremendous, if you cut the heart, like Hanumanji speaking. If you like to see my nishtha, someday Hanumanji, someday, someday Hanumanji was there in front of Ramchandra doing serving. Laksh it is one kind of leela. Then, then our Lakshmanji, Lakshman, Lakshman is also serving na, Ramchandra. Lakshman actually Shevak Bigro at the same time Shevva Bigro. Balaramji Maharaj is Shebhav Bigro in Chaitanya Bhagavad Chaitanya. Everywhere you can find, he always, always speaking, I am the servant of Bhagavan Krishna, Balaram. So that, that uh, Lakshmanji Maharaj, now he is inside thinking. The Hanumanji Maharaj claimed that he is the topmost Shebhav. I am also serving. Let me test. Hanumanji Maharaj could realize, then speaking in front of Lakshmanji, if you like to see that I am having tremendous nishtha unto Lord Sri Ramchandra, then I can open my heart. Then Hanumanji Maharaj with his nail, with his nail, Hanumanji Maharaj opening his heart and showing that inside heart you can see Ram Sita. One picture we can find also, a Ramanandi Sampadai. Anumanji Maharaj with nail, with nail going to cut the chest. And going to show, you see, Ramchandra and Sita sitting inside me. This way, to test his tremendous nishtha. But at the same time, he has tremendous love from Mahaprabhu also. Both you can say, Murari Gupta is the eternal prasad of Ramchandra as Hanuman. Murari Gupta is the eternal prasad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu You can say, simply, say it is possible. Externally it seems how possible, but possible. Not for everybody, a special case. So, Mahasya Vibhishanaha, Gajendra, he got the association yeah, in Gajendra also. Ga, Gajo mean Gajendra. Gajo. Gajendra also got the association Gajendra. Gajendra also got the association of you know, Sadhu Guru. Uh, uh, I mean Rishi Mani. He got the association. This way Gajendra, he was successful to get and bad, one cruel bad, by the association of Naraji Maharaj. I told many times, you can find the, in Chaitanya Chaitamito when Mahaprabhu explaining to Sanatana Gosai. One cruel, one very cruel hunter, one very cruel hunter, he got the association of Naraji Maharaj. One day Naraji Maharaj was going to Triveni, and they I mean the confluence of confluence of Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati. Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, three rodi, three river, three river, uh, confluence of three river. There. Naraji Maharaj was going that way. 
Then suddenly one hunter, he become, he shouting, why you are coming this way? Naraji Maharaj looking, who you are? I am hunter. For you, I am good to, for you, I am good to miss my target. For you, it is for you. Oh, you are going to kill. You are going to shoot all deer, boar, in road I have seen. Did you have? Yes, I have done. I have done. He is feeling pride, proud of that. Narajima speaking, I want one thing from you. What do you want? Tiger skin? Tiger skin you need? Or deer skin? Anything, come to my house and give you free of cost. I am not asking deer, I am not going to ask any deer skin or tiger. I have one pray, I have one demand from you. I want pray to you. What is that? Whenever you can kill, whenever you can kill one beast or anything bird, you can kill, kill completely, not half kill. If you are going to kill half, then he has become very painful condition. Don't do that. Narajima speaking, when you can kill any, any beast or bird, then you can kill completely. Otherwise, if you kill him, kill that bastard beast and by half, then they are feeling very pain. So, they are going to kill you. Be careful. Next and next and next life, they are waiting to kill you also. Oh, really so? Yes, they can kill you. So, what is the way out? You can do one thing. You can leave everything. Don't kill and what I can eat. How I can earn money. How I can arrange my... This is my uh, livelihood. So I cannot live. I can send... I can send all rice and chowder, everything you can send. You leave it. You break your bow and arrow and go to river. Go to Ganga and take bath and come to me. I can give you mantra. Then after that he is going to throw everything break, going to take bath in Ganga, coming back. Then our Naraji Maharaj giving mantra. You can go on chanting this mantra. Then rice, chapati, chal, how I can get? Everything automatically can. Automatically can come to you. I promise you, no problem. Then Naraji Maharaj gone. He started doing bhajan. With his wife, he make one very uh, bamboo with bamboo structure, one bhajan kutir. He is doing bhajan, or rice, chapati, everything coming to him daily. He is taking prasad one day. One day, Naraji Maharaj with Parvat Muni, one of his friends. Parvat Muni is a friend of Naraji. So both of them coming. Naraji Maharaj speaking, let, let us go. I like to show you one of my disciples. Narajima is speaking, let us go. I can show you one of my disciples. Oh, disciple? Then going that way, same way, where they are doing bhajan. Then by watching Gurudev coming, by watching Gurudev coming, then that hunter jumping out from his bhajan kuti and fall down in ground. And clean the clean the field fast. After that, play first to Guru Dev, to Naraji Maharaj and Parvat Muni. Then Naraji Maharaj asking, uh, "Your prasadam coming? Yes, so much prasadam. Don't send only two. We two are there. So much you are sending. What to do? Bale, you can take whatever you like. You can accept." And the rest you can distrib distribute. So rice, chapati, everything you are doing bhajan. That's why by the power of Harinam you are getting. So Sadhu Guru Vaishnava getting everything by power of bhajan. Everything automatically coming to them. They are not earning money. They are doing bhajan. Now, Naraji Maharaj speaking to that hunter. This kind of humble this kind of humble attitude you are growing. This kind of humble attitude you are growing. And you, are, you become so merciful that even you don't like to kill any ant. 
so nice mercy came inside you. Even you are less interested to die one ant. This kind of change. So Naraji Maharaj speaking to that hunter, Ete nohi adbuda vyadaha tabo ahimsa dayogunaha. This kind of humble attitude, this kind of, you know, ahimsa. You are going to live, na? You are not going to show any, you know. So, this is quite natural. Ete, ete tabo ahimsa, ete nohi adbhuta vyadaha tabo ahimsa dayogunaha hari bhakti Hari bhakto prabhritta jete nahi nahi te parotapinah. Those who are going to do bhajan of Hari, those who are actually doing bhajan of Hari Bhagavan, usually they never like to give any pain to anybody. They develop this kind of mercy. They don't like to give any, any pain. Kai mano bhakke kare udbek, I can discuss tomorrow. So, our one pure devotee, one devotee, never like to give any pain, any anxiety, any cruelty, don't so. So, bad, it is quite natural. How bad, it is quite natural that you are growing this kind of humble attitude, this kind of very fresh mood. Because usually those who are doing Krishna Bhajan, they cannot show any cruel mood to anybody. Usually they like to protect all jiva. It's quite natural. So much mercy, they like to protect all jiva. They pray to Bhagavan that they can develop bhakti, which is the final solution. This way, bad kubja, bad already I told right now. Kubja, already I told. Now, inside Braja, Jagga Patni, long ago, maybe five years back, I was discussing, discussing about Jagik Patni incident, long ago. All things like Bastaran Lila, Kaliyadaman Lila, Benu Gita, all discussed. You go thousands of Harikatha, all in detail. This also, Jagik Patni. Jagik Patni, Jagik Patni, I mean the wives, all those wives of Jagik, Jagik Brahman. They are Patnis, they never saw Krishna. They never saw Krishna Varada. But by the association of one, one lady is Malini, his name is Malini. Malini means he is going to collect, he is going to collect flower from forest. She is going to collect flower from forest, Vindavan forest, and going to sell to market because this is a livelihood. This way he is going to earn money, somehow to arrange two bread. So that Malini, while collecting flower, by chance he was there in their locality. That day Malini collecting flower in the locality, after collecting flower, making garland, everything, and going to sell it in Mathura, to get something so that he can arrange his daily bread. And she used to sing the song of Krishna while collecting flower like Jasodama. Like Jasodama while churning yo uh, you know, yoga this way, singing the glories of Krishna, Bal Krishna, my song. Naturally, this is also bhakti. So this way, by chance, that Malini was, was in that area. And all Chagik Padni, they heard all about Krishna. They are thinking, maybe it is a, one kind of, you know, I don't know, is possible this kind of, this kind of, you know, Krishna Balaram, they are so nice, is possible? They wonder. Finally, after hearing from Malini, they are discussing with Malini. By the help of Malini, they are getting bhakti. Jagik Patni. 
by the association of Malini, Jagik Patni, they developed tremendous attraction for Krishna. They never went to Gurukul, they never gone to Ved, Vedanta, they never took any vow in their life, nothing. Never, never, never been to Gurukul, nothing. But automatically, they are developing bhakti unto the lotus feet of Krishna. So, Jagyapatna Stathapare, even Jagik Brahman, they gone mad by watching the tremendous bhakti. They are, they are by watching their tremendous bhakti unto the lotus feet of Krishna. Whereas Krishna already sent, well, when Krishna and Balaram, you know, going in posturing field with cows, someday Krishna Balaram in their locality, that particular locality, with cows they are playing. By chance, some friend speaking, we are very hungry. We can arrange some prasadam for us. Then Krishna Balaram suggesting, well, not too far from here, the Jagik Patni, the Jagik Brahman, they are doing Jagya. Shatajit Jagya. They are doing Jagya. So why not you go to them and pray for some rice? They are offering to Bhagavan. Bhagavan himself, Krishna Balaram, they, Bhagavan is speaking. You can go there and ask for some uh, chapati or puri or rice, they can give. Then all Sakha friends, they are going in front of Jagik Brahman, they are doing Jagga, Om Swaha, Om Swaha. Then all the friends of Krishna, they are requesting, O Brahman, please pay attention to us. Krishna Balaram coming nearby, they are playing nearby. Krishna Balaram today coming in this locality. Krishna Balaram, both of them coming in your locality. There they are playing with cows. They are feeling hungry. Could you please give some rice, prasadam, everything? But Jagik Brahma not paying any attention. So false ego. They are praying with folded hand. But Jagik Brahma, they are looking, not looking at those coward boy. Eh, coward boy. <laughs> we are Brahma. Not paying any attention to them. Then they are not pay, giving any response. Then they gone to Krishna Balaram. They saying, we, according to our advice, we went there. We wanted to pray them. But they are not paying any attention. Not even looking at us. Not even looking at us. What to do? Then Krishna Balaram said, well, you can go. You can go there to their wife, wives. They are sitting. They are wife, they can, they can surely can give. Now we cannot, you can come out successful. Then all friends, finally they are going to Jagik Patnis, all wives of Jagik Brahman sitting in one place. They are discussing something about Krishna. In the meantime, those boys, I mean covered boys coming, Bho Jagik Patni Gan prayer. Could you please give attention to our prayer? What do you want? Uh, we, Krishna Balaram already coming to your locality. They are busy with, in, they are busy in grazing field. So could you please any prasadam to them? After hearing the name of Krishna Balaram, they stand up. Krishna Balaram coming? Yes, in your locality. Oh, really? Krishna Balaram. For long time we wanted to get darshan of Krishna Balaram. For long time, it is long awaited. We are waiting to take darshan. Where? Where? There. Then they are making preparation. They are making plate, big, big plate. They are making big, big plate. And they are prasadam. All, all Gopika, all, you know, Jagi Brahma. They give prasadam. They are running towards Krishna Balaram. Finally, they are going. And from distance, they watch Krishna Balaram. Even they cannot expect this kind of, this kind of, you know, beautiful feature. Krishna Balaram, so nice. After watching, they gone mad. 
Jagik Patni, they give prasadam to them. So Krishna Vala, all friends, they are taking prasadam. This way, Jagik Patni, they were also successful. Jagik Patni, they were all successful to reach the lotus feet of Bhagavan. After that, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhava, Te, Te Yanaha, I mean, all the list, all the list I speak, this, 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 they all, none of them, none of them gone through Veda. None of them, you know, none of them gone to Gurukul. None of them gone to Indabrata, Tapasya, nothing. Only by the association of Satsanga, they were successful to reach my lotus feet. Keva le na hi bhave na guppu gavo niga khaga je anne murodhiyo nagaha siddha mam yur anjasa. When Krishna, when Krishna was manifesting Leela in Vrindavan Dham, what to speak about Krishna? Even Gauranga Mahaprabhu. When Gauranga Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan, then you can see picture, na? All deer, cow, they are licking the body of Mahaprabhu. You have seen the picture. Huh? Because they are getting the association of Mahaprabhu. In the way of Jari Khanda. Jari Khanda, one dangerous forest. Bihar, now Jari Khanda, they are making one separate state. Previously, it was uh, under Bihar. Bihar, that time, if you go from Bengal, if you enter Bihar, dangerous. Some portion of Uri, Urisha also go. Some portion. Dangerous forest. Where Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu wanted to go through Bind, Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan through that way. That is very beautiful. All around garden or forest, all birds are dancing, singing. So the, there you can find in Chaitanya Chaitamito, while going through that forest, Mahaprabhu giving prema to elephant, tiger, jackal, you know, deer, everybody. While going through. A special case. Mahaprabhu giving prema to them. Kripa. So, they know nothing. What to do, bhajan, while Krishna was there, manifesting Leela that time also. Benu Gita, I discussed now. All... A bird, they are hearing, birds, they are hearing the sound of Bhangshi Dhani of Krishna. Calf, they are drinking the milk from the breast of mother. Cow, after that hearing that Bhangshi Dhani, they stop take drinking milk, they are hearing the sound. This way, deer, birds, beast, all, oh, even creepers, Rupa Goswami was writing, the Krishna is so merciful, he wanted to distribute kripa even to creepers. Even to creepers, creepers, those are creepers, he used to distribute. Kripa. But Mahaprabhu kripa is more and more, we cannot compare even with Krishna. Though he is Krishna, but he is kripa. So, only by the association of sadhu, they all were successful to reach my lotus feet. Successful. Now I can speak some very absolute siddhanta. If you can, if you think, uh, we can also get the, this way, we can also get. If you think, so this is the least Bhagavan speaking this way. First point is sadhu sangha is rare. Second is, we don't know how to do satsanga. Well, Bhakti Thakur told, there is sadhu sangha is always there. But due to our kapat bhav, we cannot identify sadhu. That's why we cannot get actual association. So, they are all attending the lotus feet of Bhagavan. But, the way gopikas, they are getting the lotus feet of Krishna, this cannot be compared with the way Vittasura attended. If you are in confusion, 
Bhagavan speaking in common sense, common, common word. They all attended my lotus. But there is some, there is some comparative statement. Vrittasur attended the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Vrittasur hmm? praying to Bhagavan. Vrittasur in the battlefield praying to Bhagavan. That he also attained a lotus feet. But his attainment is not same with Gopikas. So all Bahubo Mat Padam Prapta, there is some uh, you know, Gauno and Moksha. Gauno means preliminary. They are attainment, they are attending lotus with Krishna. Not out of tremendous love as like Gopikas. They are attending, they have prema also. But their attainment, how they attain the lotus feet of Krishna, they and all Gopikas, both of them cannot be compared. I will not, cannot be. It is not same. So one is Gauno primary, primary, uh, primarily, another secondary. That I can discuss tomorrow. Gauno and Muksha, Vritto, Vritto, Vritto is having bhakti, surely. Ajata Pakshiva Matarang Khaga Stannam Yathabatsataram Kudhartha Priya Priyeva Vishatam Vishanya Manaha Aravindaksha Diddikshetam He is praying, Bhagavan. Like one small baby bird waiting for mother to come and give something. Chi, 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 shouting, crying. When mother can come and give some grain. I am crying like this. When one small cup becomes very busy, hungry, want to drink milk from mother breast, this way my, my heart, I'm, from heart I am praying, I like, to, I like to see your lotus feet, Vrittasur. Vrittasur in the bottle feet praying. Even Indra Maharaj gone mad. Even, even Indra Maharaj gone mad by watching this devotional mood of this Vrittasu, because externally is demon. In the Maharaj speaking, you are demon. In the Maharaj speaking, externally you are demon. How you develop this kind of tremendous bhakti? Indra gone mad. How you become Mahapurush? Jad Asura Bhavam Vihayo Mahapurushatam Gataha. Asurva, by living, by living Asur Baba, how you are attaining this kind of Baba? Indra gone mad. So, Vittasur also having love for Bhagavan, but not, not like Gopikas. Follow, all not same. There are some comparative statements. That's why in Brihad Bhagavatam Brito, there is a big statement. In Brihad Bhagavatam Rito, so, so, uh, in Brihad Bhagavatam Rito, in Brihad Bhagavatam Rito, in Brihad Bhagavatam Rito, you can find that our Sanatana Goswami wanted to show all comparative study, one by one, one by one. All comparative study, gradually. Hanumanji Maharaj, Hanumanji Maharaj, Swaying Bhakti, Hanumanji Maharaj swaying bhakti, Hanumanji Maharaj doing bhakti, but Hanumanji Maharaj, his bhakti surely not equal to bhakti shown by Panchapanda. Surely not same. All have some comparative statement. This way, we can, tomorrow can discuss, there is some comparative statement. That I can discuss. Otherwise, you can be in confusion. Also, one slok, surely tomorrow I can discuss. Tomorrow I can discuss one slok. Very important. What was told by Naraji Maharaj. Kenu puppai eno manaha kishne nevasai. Somehow you will have to concentrate your mind unto a lotus feet of Krishna. Like, eh? but surely we are not going to concentrate our mind unto a lotus feet of Krishna like Shishupal and Kamsa. So, what is the solution? Somehow we will have to concentrate. But surely not like Kamsa, not like 
Shishupal. So what is this? Why Naraj is speaking this way? That we can discuss tomorrow. Uh, comparative statement. Today I like to stop here. Excuse me. So, uh, what sloka I started with? Dvang bhakti yoga paribhavita hit saroju asase shutekshita patano nuna tapungsam jadjad dhyato uruga yubi bhavayati tatadabapu pranayase sadano gruhayo vanchakalpadurusikavasindu. Patitanang Bhavanabhu, Vaishnavyonama.